हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव डन टिल इंटरेस्ट बेनिफिट वी हैव डन टिल इंटरेस्ट बेनिफिट नाउ ओनली वन पार्ट इज रिमेनिंग ऑफ पर्क्यूजेट दैट इज हाउस अकोमोडेशन लेवन हाउस अकोमोडेशन फर्स्टली विल अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज हाउस अकोमोडेशन मीन हाउस अकोमोडेशन मीन्स पर्क्यूजेट गिवन टू पर्क्यूजेट गिवन टू द एम्प्लॉय इन द फॉर्म ऑफ डायरेक्टली गिविंग अ रेसिडेंशियल हाउस टू द एम्प्लॉय रादर गिविंग हिम एच आर दैट इज हाउस रेंट अलाउंसेज गिविंग अ एम्प्लॉयर्स ओन प्रॉपर्टी टू द एम्प्लॉय टू लिव इन देर सो सच इज अ नॉन मॉनिटरी पर्क्यूजेट सो हाउ इट विल बी टेक्सीबल इट इज गिवन अंडर दिस हेड हाउस अकोमोडेशन फर्स्ट रेंट फ्री अकोमोडेशन rent free accommodation bracket right unfurnished your right rent free accommodation in bracket right furnished there it might be a possibility that the employer may have a unfurnished apartment and it and he has given because he might have it as extra so he might have given it to the employee for his accommodation so that he can stay in the state and work for the company similarly rent free accommodation it might be possible that the employer may have a furnished accommodation so how it will be taxable so these are the two cases first we'll we'll see the case of rent free accommodation unfurnished case 1 rent free accommodation unfurnished for this we have to draw a chart i'm sorry in my previous lectures of perquisite the five videos that i have uploaded it was quite low because i wasn't well but i have to do my job that's why i did it little but after five videos i was not able to sit properly also so i didn't did it but now i'm doing well so i'm trying to complete the entire direct text let's see how soon we can complete direct text and go on to indirect text so let's see these are the two cases the let's draw the chart in case of government in case of other employee and right employee also use so how it will be taxable taxable value of perquisite perquisites is equal to license fees and then we'll see other employee i'll explain you at the end first let's draw the chart employee again we have a chart house owned by employer where i said the employer may have an extra house but there might be a case the employer may not have extra house so he has hired a house a house for the employee without paying him hra and directly providing him the accommodation so how that will be taxable we'll see in the other part first we'll complete with the house owned by the employer when the house owned by the empl employer further again we have to draw a chart population 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 i know it is not visible to you all population up to 10 lakhs from 10 lakhs to 25 lakhs more than 25 lakhs just wait a second 25 lakhs okay so how it will be taxable 7.5% of salary 10% of salary this 15% of salary this is clear for house owned by the employer now we'll see house hired by employer this is r okay r employer 
प्लीज डोंट कॉपी राइट नाउ विल सी फर्स्ट आई आई नीड टू एक्सप्लेन योर हायर चार्जेस पेड बाय द एम्प्लॉयर स्लैश और 15% परसेंट ऑफ सैलरी विच एवर इज लोअर विच एवर इज लोअर विल बिकम वट टैक्सेबल वैल्यू ऑफ पर्क्यूजिट्स दैट इज टी वी पी I hope this is clear. Salary is equal to this is very important. Please write very important over here because many a times you you may goof up over here. Basic salary plus dearance allowances plus turn over commission. See, I have written DA. That is dearance allowances. I hope you all have listened my previous videos also, so you may understand now. DA means dearance allowances. Turnover commission plus bonus, if any, plus allowances, if any, plus ex gratuita, if any. Okay. Plus normal commission. so this is salary now before explaining let me complete the case 2 also then i'll explain both the cases 12 case 2 is very simple if you know case 1 then automatically you will know case 2 also case 2 is rent free accommodation furnished rent free accommodation furnished so we need to draw a table particulars amount first you need to write calculate rent free accommodation this is a surprise accommodation unfurnished so in furnished also you need to first find unfurnished the entire process this entire process that i have written over here then rent free accommodation unfurnished the amount Add furniture, furniture benefits, furniture benefits. X X. I'm right. I'll give a note for this. How to calculate furniture benefits? Less amount recovered by employee. and you will get rent free accommodation furnished okay note furniture owned by employer depreciation at the rate of 10% slm method furniture hired by employer then hiring sorry hiring charges paid okay so i hope this is very clear to you all this was not the second case is not at all difficult you just need to add furniture benefit furniture benefit if it is owned by the employer depreciation at the rate of 10% slm if furniture hired by the employer hiring charges paid okay and less amount recovered by the employer this is very easy so before if you want to solve rent free accommodation furnished you should know rent free accommodation unfurnished so first case says it bifurcates the employees into two that is government employee and other employee if you are a government employee then the taxable value of the perquisite is equal to license fee the license fee it will be given in the question you just to substitute the value that's it 
other employees if other employees house owned by the employer house owned by the employer and the population where the house is owned is up to 10 lakhs then taxable value of perquisites will be 7.5 percent of salary if the house owned by the employer in the area where the population is from 10 lakhs to 25 lakhs then 10 percent of the salary will become the taxable value of perquisites when the house owned by the employer in the area where the population is more than 25 lakhs then 15 percent of the salary will become the taxable value of perquisite i hope you all have understood how to read this now if you have not please rewind the video and listen it again house hired by the employer if house hired by the employer it's a very simple case let me tell you all this is the case which is maximally asked in the question this is a rare case but you should know it because if if any time if they ask in the question in the question in the exam suddenly then you should know this percentage because this are the important percentage and as well as the population so how to remember it 10 7.5 10 to 2.5 remember the lower value okay middle 10 comes to 10 percent of salary and upper 25 25 minus 10 15 7.5 you have to remember just 7.5 this two is very easy how to remember it i have given you the sequence if you have understood well and good otherwise simply remember in the sequence manner because the law this part of the law you have to anyhow remember i'm just making it simple for you but memorizing part is all up to you hiring the charge ah, sorry higher charges paid by the employer or 15 percent of the salary whichever is lower will become taxable value of the perquisite salary your salary is equal to basic salary plus dearance allowances plus turnover commission plus bonus plus allowances plus ex gratuita plus normal commission don't ever goof up doing this part okay this is very important and i have taught you already this now you just need to copy if you not understand anything please start the video again and listen it you will automatically understand please pause the video and copy I hope you all have paused the video and copied. Please pause the video and copy. I hope you all have paused the video and copied. Please pause the video and copy. I hope you all have copied.